wearing um, a suit made by Marnie. Um, and, you know, I think somebody, I'm going to make the joke before somebody else does. You should see the lawnmower. Oh, my God. You should see the other lawnmower, <laughs> I should say. Hey, yeah. I'm loving it, all right? So yes, props to the styling department here, okay? Thank you. Okay, let's talk about the film. So you got to honor real-life people in what many consider the Forgotten War. What do you hope people will remember about this film? Exactly. People will learn about the Korean War, um, understand what happened. I mean, growing up here, like, in the States, you, you learn about World War II, and then you quickly skip over it, and you go on to something else. And I, I spoke to the director right when I got the role, and I'm like, before we can talk about the project, can we just talk about why I didn't know about this? And especially why I didn't know about these two true individuals, um, Tom and... and, and Jesse and everyone that, that was around them and I mean I just met the grandson of the guy that I play in the movie it's trippy I was like I hope you like it if you don't uh, sorry oh my god <laughs> um, you know, it it's cool it's a it, it's amazing to, to have an opportunity to play somebody that that existed well let's talk about your character in the film you're you have a, your character says like oh you know I get Frank Sinatra and that was like kind of the pickup line and then we know in real life, you told Sophie on your first date that you get Clooney a lot. So I've been asking everyone, are you more of a Sinatra or a Clooney? What would you say? Oh, um, I guess the, you have to do a poll now. I got to do a poll. So basically, can you let us know what it really is? I don't know. Who are you? Um, who am I? I like to be myself today, if that's okay. Uh, <laughs> but I love them both. And um, I, I think uh, I'd like to hear Clooney sing, and then we can make this decision. You know, you can't settle the debate tonight, but we'll let everyone else decide. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about Jesse Brown and how romantic he was and how sweet he was with Daisy. Did so many romantic things. What is the most romantic thing you've ever done for Sophie? You know, I think there's Christina, who's right over there. One thing that I think she always says, which is like so true, is like she's like, I showed everyone that letter that Jesse wrote, um, Daisy. <laughs> I showed everyone that letter that Jesse wrote, Daisy, which is like, this is how you treat a woman and um, or a person, and it's. He, he was such a romantic, and so most romantic thing I've ever done. You know, I'm I'm really bad with numbers and dates, and um, and I, I try to think uh, I, I can surprise. I think surprising Soph when she le least expected it was. I did a pretty good job of that. You know, you play it off like you're somewhere else in the world. You gotta like hide that. You're you're like on Facetime and like and hiding like you're not on a plane. Uh, yeah. I got I've gotten away with that before. Showed Man, up. You're good. I'm all right. It's not it's not the be most amazing thing, but. Well, hey, I think um, she'd really enjoy the surprise of some T-Swift tickets. Are you in that Ticketmaster queue, or did, did you have some pool? Um, you know what? That's a great idea. Is this still an option? She would love that. I mean, I think you might be able to call up someone who knows someone, but, okay. like, apparently that Ticketmaster queue is shut down. Wow. Um, to, be, yeah. to be expected. Yeah, to be expected. I'll get in line now. There you go. Well, congrats on the thank film. So we are so, we love it. So thank, thank you. Guys. Thank you. Hope to see it.